determine the intervals on which the function in the figure is increasing, decreasing, and constant. So we're given a function here that we wouldn't be able to write with just one equation. This is called a piecewise function because it's made up of different pieces. Like here is a line, and then here is a different line, and then this is actually what looks like part of a parabola. And we'll deal quite a bit more with piecewise functions later on in this chapter. But for now, uh, what we just want to do is look at where is this function increasing, decreasing, and constant. When you do that, you look at the x values for which, from left to right, your y values are increasing. So think about that. From left to right, so from, say, here to here, what is my graph doing? Is it increasing in y's or is it decreasing? Well, it's going up from left to right. So in this interval, we are increasing. And what matters is what our x values are at the ends of each of these points. Now, this actually on either side is going to keep going forever. So our first interval here, we're starting at negative infinity and we're going until we get to this point, which is negative 2 comma 2. All we care about though is the negative 2. So when we write our answer for interval notation, we're going to say that this goes from negative infinity to negative 2. That's where it's increasing. It also increases starting at 4 and then going on to positive infinity because the graph keeps going. So we're remember we're talking about from left to right where is our graph rising. So starting here when, once we start going right because our graph is going up that's a place where we're increasing. Anytime we have set notation and we have more than one set of parentheses we link those together using a U for union saying that both of these sets are relevant. For part B we want to look at where our function is decreasing and so from left to right where is our graph going down? Well that would be from this point to this point. So from positive 2 to positive 4 because we just care about for what x values are our y's going down. So b is 2 comma 4. Then for c we're asked where is it constant? So constant just means it's not increasing and it's not decreasing. So that only leaves this piece in the middle where it's flat. It's not going up and it's not going down. That happens if you look from negative 2 to positive 2. Now when we're doing these intervals you might have been thinking to yourself why am I not putting any brackets? Remember negative infinity and positive infinity will always have parentheses no matter what. The other numbers you have brackets when you're equal to. There are actually two different ways that people will do this. Some people will say yes it's okay to put parentheses in each of these spots uh, that I'm underlining right here. I, that it's okay to put brackets there because some people would say well yes it is actually increasing up until negative 2 so we would include negative 2. Other people say well at negative 2 at that particular point you can't be increasing decreasing or constant so put a parenthesis. So either way uh, you want to figure out what your professor or your teacher or what the book you're using does. Uh, for example the book that I'm referencing just has you using parentheses and so if you're in doubt for increasing, decreasing, con and constant, parentheses will always technically be right. So these would, this would be our answer on this problem.